everybody and welcome to the 2024 QGS conference. First of all, I would like to apologize for not being here in person. I'm giving you a warm welcome by shaking hand. Uh, unfortunately, um, unplanned surgery kept me at home. But nevertheless, I'm extremely excited of seeing how many people have subscribed to the conference and are here or there. And um, I know that you're all looking forward to many very interesting sessions and uh, sharing your know-how and learning new things about QGIS. Since 2022, in the QGIS world, we put a lot of work into um, getting the PR, the communication language, up at the same level uh, of quality as the software that we have. We do have a fantastic software, but we were not presenting it and telling people that don't know what QGIS is in the same manner. We were actually really lacking behind with, um, with that part. We've been focusing a lot. We've been doing workshops on missions, visions. We created a, bla uh, a brand book. Uh, we have a new claim so that we really can tell somebody that does not know who or what uh, it's behind QGIS, uh, so we can give them the chance to actually understand really quickly um, how good of a project we have here. We're now thrilled to have released this summer, actually a couple of months ago, not even, a wonderful new website that conveys exactly this. It shows our brand, it shows our language, it shows simplicity, but it also shows the power that is hidden behind the project. It has been a lot of work, and I think the work that was put in there is amazing. Obviously, all this has been possible only thanks to all the collaborations that we have, all the contributors that have QGIS making it what it is today, from developers to translators to donors to sustaining members, companies and volunteers. All these are people that behind, um, that are behind QGIS and then make it the fantastic project that it is. If we look ahead, what is coming in the next years, um, in the technical discussion, in the, in the mailing list, the name QGIS4 has dropped a couple of times. There have been discussion around it, it's still feels far, but it, it has been discussed. A solid technical base with the all my preparation of the QT6 work is already being done and it's available. Um, so for sure there is a movement in that direction. But also I think uh, what we will have is uh, an ongoing work on this um, communication. So we have new, new tools, we have a new website, we have a new language, we have new branding. With all these I can, and with the help of other hopefully as well, We'll be able to onboard more big sustaining membership to ensure the financial stability of the project and so uh, to be able to manage the continuous stream of work that is needed. Hopefully we'll uh, manage soon also to have someone dedicated to have a dedicated fixed time to, to coding chores that need to be taken care of like uh, we did in the last years with a dedicated person for infrastructure and for documentation that brought a lot of work. Uh, sorry, that solved a lot of work, obviously. Um, on the website, we did publish already the main website, but all the other small websites that we have, like the feed, the plugin, um, and, and all these, are being migrated as well to the same kind of visual language, so that for a new user is really just one experience. Finally, um, I would like um, to thank everybody that made this conference possible, all the sponsors, the volunteers, the participants. I really wish that uh, I was there to be able to uh, engage in the sessions, workshops and discussion with you. But I guess I'll see you either in December in Belém at the first Latin American QGIS Day or next spring in Sweden. Enjoy the conference.